nice piece of red oak. Yeah, this is a nice piece. This is the one I grabbed out of the pile that Mike and I slabbed down, and I brought it to a kiln and just got it back. It's nice and dry. Well, that's good. Kiln drying it lessens the chance of it warping and twisting, but it could still happen. It is wood. Wood will do what it wants. Exactly. Now, I was thinking about it. I know you wanted to make a bar top out of this. Yep. Probably four or five feet long, you said. Yeah. I got thinking about the legs. So we could just get some black iron pipe. Okay. Just like a regular them. gas pipe? Yep. A okay. quarter inch to get the home center or hardware store. Okay. And we'd have to get a bunch of fittings, some tees and some braces and brackets and all that kind of stuff. But yep. rather than guess at the pieces that we need, and I found that they have a kit. The kit gives us everything that we need for the bar top size that you want. Very nice. And it takes all the guesswork all out of it. All the guesswork is gone and I like that. I like it too. <laughs> all right. So... That's kits for anywhere between 36 to 48, maybe 50 inches. So okay. What do you think? Which end do you want? This end's pretty cool. We've got a nice check, a little bit of a knot here, some good character to it. Yeah, I like that. All right, so if we cut off uh, a little bit extra, so why don't we make this like a little, little over four feet. Okay. We'll cut it and mill it down. All right. good yeah though well, the bark's gone oh yeah it is but it's dirty yeah oh you can see this section right here this thin piece right there mm -hmm. that's the spalding of the wood okay. what happens as the as the trees on the ground the bark starts to separate away from the tree water will migrate in there and accelerate the rotting of the wood but I love that grain it really is beautiful we'll take a little bit off yeah so what we'll do is we'll clean this up okay and see how it looks Getting soft? Yeah, getting soft. Well, actually, you can see how the little bugs have been in there, too, eating away. Yep. The wire wheel is a great tool for chipping away the wood fibers on the live edge. You can see how it chips away at the wood fibers without doing too much damage to the live edge. So the wire wheel basically cleaned up a lot of the debris that's really rotting on the spalded part here. Yep. yep. So I'm going to try a belt sander with some real coarse paper. Okay. So just clean the edges up and see if we can flatten it down, but still leave all the undulation in there. Okay. So we... That's taking it down. Yeah, I like the look. Yeah. All right, Nathan, that edge looks pretty good. Why don't you do the other side? All right. It just looked good. Now we got to think about the surface. We yep. want it to be relatively flat. Now the thing is, is when this thing goes through the mill, this tree is wet. Yeah. And when it goes through, you now you're breaking each section of the wood away from the rest of the tree. And mm -hmm. as soon as you do that, as you know, wood is going to take on its own effect. So it's releasing itself from grabbing the whole thing together, and it's going to do all kinds of funky Cup things. Cup and twist and right. go back. Right. Right. And so when I look down to this one, I see that there's looks like there's a little bit of a high spot right here where this checking is. Yep. Do you, do you see it? I see that too, right yeah. there. So let's take a straight edge and see if we can really see it right here. So if I hold down like that, you can see a little bit of a light right down there. A little bigger right there. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's hitting here, yep. it's a dip here, and it's kind of flat there. They come all the way down. I mean, for a rough sawn piece of lumber that's been dried, 
That's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. You know, but you know, we want to make it relatively flat so that if you take a lamp or put something on there, you don't want it to rock and roll around. Exactly. All right. Why don't we just take an electric hand plane and see if we can knock this down just a little bit and see how it looks. Yeah, we'll hit this with the belt sander, and I think we might be in business. All right. Okay, so normally what I would do is I would get some epoxy, and I would maybe tint it and put it in these cracks and let it dry overnight. Yeah. But I want to try seeing if we can use a five-minute epoxy. Okay. I don't have any dye, but I'm going to take some of the sawdust from when we use the belt sander and yep. mix it in, make our own little mixture, and fill it in the holes and let's see how it works. Sounds good. This stuff is pretty strong. Yeah. That'll make a good looking wood filler right there. Yeah, well, it's all the same, all from the same block of wood. Yeah. As you know, whenever we're doing stuff and we can patch with the same sawdust, it definitely makes it disappear. Mm-hmm. While the epoxy is curing, let's flip it over and work on the bottom. All right, so now we're all set to make the thickness equal over the entire run. So make the top parallel with the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think the best way to do it because the size of this is with a router sled mm -hmm. and a router bit, and we got a couple of guides to ride it on. Now another option would be the thickness planer. We don't have to bring this piece to a planer, which we don't have. Right. We're just going to do it in place. Exactly. Okay. We'd have to have it like a 20 inch planer to do that. So we've got a heavy duty router, three horsepower, yep. with a straight cutting bit. I don't have a planer bit, so we're just going to use a straight cutting bit. Okay. We go light passes back and forth and work our way till we're all even where we want to be. Okay. Something you want me to do in the meantime? Yeah. You want to uh, start putting those legs together? I can do that. Okay. Great. All right. The black pipe has an iron oxide coating on it to keep it from rusting when it's in storage. So before I start assembling, I'll clean up the pipes with a little bit of dish soap and water. Picked up a little bit of an oil wax combination here. I'm just going to buff it in. What do you think? I think it came out really good. Yeah, All like right, it. a bar needs some stools. Here, right, you, go. here we go. you guys Here are done go. playing your game? Yeah. 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 Uh, Listen. Thank you, Richard. Jen and I promised, Tommy, that if you guys built it, uh, we would drink on it. <laughs> yeah. So we brought the beer. It doesn't surprise me. But you know what? I mean, that looks really good, guys. Yeah, that's I know. Looks awesome. The color, the thickness. Right, yeah. Can I, I like have one for my house? Edge. That oil finished it off really nice. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. really cool. Something, Something this really beautiful really and good the end of the season, I think, merits a celebration. So just want to let you know that that is a wrap from all of us for season 21. But we will be back next fall with brand new episodes. So until then, I'm Kevin O'Connor on behalf of all of us for Ask This Old House. All right. Bye. Hey, congrats. Yeah. Well done, everybody.
Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.